Right, the last job before we go for the MOT. Yeah, it's not like last minute crunches to find out the gearbox mount's a bit toast. Well, <laughs> we knew it was toast, that's why we ordered a new one. Turns out it was the wrong one. Yeah. So we had a last minute phone call to our factors, Ian M in Aberystwyth, and they bloody sorted us one out for the next day, didn't they? They did, yeah. They did. And here we go, look, it is here. Lewis is just going to pop this in, and then we're heading off for the MOT. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be good. Nervous. All right, let's get that done. It's time for an MOT. Let's, um, and some first thoughts on the car and how it drives and how it handles and what I think about the interior and well, so far it's a little bumpy. The interior is a lovely place to be. The ride's nice and flat. I mean, it's, it's a little bit more positive, like bumpy, bumpy, short, bumpy, bumpiness, like jiggly, jiggly, than my van is. But then that's to be expected. We've lowered the front by 80 millimeters. That's a lot. Um, it's moving along really happily. I'm not pushing it at all. We're cruising along at 50 mile an hour now. And that's super comfortable for it. In fourth gear, it's, it's a cruising machine but it's very excited to get it on the road and going, you know? Wind your windows, future mod. Definitely gonna put some electric in there one day. I just hope she passes her MOT, you know? And of course, at this point, every, oh, you know what it's like, every little clang and bump and squeak that it's making is, going through your brain like did I tighten every single bolt? Is every single bolt on that suspension nipped up to perfection? Are the brake lines all tight? Are they leaking? If I do an emergency stop is one of them going to burst and spill its guts all over everything and I'm going to crash? I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But I think um, the MOT man should have a pleasant surprise underneath. It is quite clean under there. Sounds freaking amazing. It really does. I, I don't know. We'll have to um, do a video on how well it sounds. Obviously that'll be in the, the grand reveal video. Um, I think the um, lumbar support in the seat is on its permanent outwards position, you know. It's got electric lumbar support on it. I think it's, it's poking me right in the lower back. <laughs> I'll have to hook that up so it's working. We can wind it back in a little bit and get the seating position right. Well, so far, the new steering rack seems to be behaving itself. It's not notchy at all or whiny. It's nice. Of course, you guys might not know this, but um, late last week, um, I took it for a quick spin up and down the road to make sure everything's okay for an MOT. And the power steering exploded on the yard, leaving a hell of a mess. Red stuff everywhere. And I'm just standing looking at it going, man. Let's give it some beans then, see what it's got. And it's definitely moving along. That's 60 mile an hour there. It, um, it's not fast, but it's not slow. It's not slow. I've definitely had slower cars. I mean, my daily is definitely a slower car, my van week. But it's got very little in horsepower. This is almost double the horsepower. So it does pick up and go fairly well. Right, we're here. We're here. It's MOT time. It is MOT time. We're at Penant uh, Garage in Penant. Really nice people. Really nice garage. Look at look at the inside of this garage. Hold on. Hello, Hugh. Just right, showing everybody right. the inside yeah. of the garage is awesome. And we're ready for the MOT, aren't we? We are ready. Cross your fingers. Well.
What's the verdict, Hugh? Yeah, it's a pass. Hey, Yay. it's a pass. Brilliant. Monica's on the road. And thank you very much, Hugh. If anybody has any classics or any dailies, in fact, come down and get their MOTs with you here. Spot on. Right. Better pay the man. Better pay the man. Right, we'll be back in the workshop in a bit. <laughs> right. We just had the MOT and it bloody passed with flying colours, not a single advisory. I can't believe it. And this is the actual first time I'm driving the car since we did all the work. And it is, oh, it is beautiful. It really is. It's such a good driving position. We changed the seats. I know the original Volvo seats are pretty comfy, but these are in the, another league. Oh, it is so cool. And it sounds so different. I don't know if you can hear it. Let me see. It sounds so cool as well. I can't believe it. Driving it after two whole years. And uh, considering we've lowered it quite a bit, it doesn't actually feel that that lowered, you know? It's still pretty smooth. <laughs> it sounds brilliant. Oh, I mean, we did a little sneaky back box delete and we put a bit of stainless there and oh just sounds the business it does not sound like a little four cylinder anymore but yeah the guys at pennant garage so friendly oh my gosh proper old school garage we'll be uh, going there for all our mot's from now on they are that they know exactly excuse me they know exactly what they're doing when it comes to classic cars he has a pretty nice collection of his own. I saw a, an E-Type Jag in the back and another MGB GT. Cars of great taste, you know, not biased, but um, awesome collection. He's got a TR6 that he's doing work on as well. Yes, yeah, so we didn't actually get much time to road test the car before we took it for an MOT because it was, it was sawn and off the road so we didn't really have much road test time. I mean, we did up and down the yard and around the field when we were trying to start the bloody thing. But um, this is the first time on the road for me. Oh, it's fantastic. I can't believe it. I feel so good. I mean, uh, here we go now. This is the only thing about country roads is quite, quite narrow. And I, I know I'm going to be overly precious about this car, but <sighs> bloody hedges and scratches. Now I've got this Hyundai here now who's refusing to move over into the hedge. To be fair, I'm going to refuse to move over into the hedge too. There we go. You stay there now, lady. Whoa, did you see the face on her? Right, down the road. I mean, um, this steering wheel, Lewis has had this for years and I can see why it's so comfy. It feels so nice. I think it's a Volvo sports steering wheel out of his 480. Ooh. But, God, I'm so happy with it. Dashboard looks amazing. I mean, it feels so cozy and so because of dark headlining and dark door cards and everything got rid of all that blue but it is it is stunning to drive stunning loving it we'll give it a I'm not going to be able to um, test its legs but she's happy to be out on the road again temperatures good Fuel level's good. It's idling a little high. We might have to tweak the idle a bit when we get back. Um, can't hear anything untoward. Steering lovely. No, I'm really happy with it. We're going to have some fun with this over the summer. And we've got our first show coming up on Sunday. That's going to be good. Um, good charity, air ambulance. It's a cause very close to our hearts. I mean, um, the air ambulance, they came out to try and save my dad and they did their best. And without a service like that to help people, especially in rural areas, I don't know where, they don't even get any fund. You know, they're all, pri they're all funded by, by donations and that's why we love to support things like that. 
Well, back from the MOT. Wonder how Leanne got on with driving it. She likes it, apparently. She likes it. Oh my God! Isn't it cool? It looks cool. It looks cool. It is. It sounds cool. Green MOTs. Green MOTs. Oh sounds my like God. the idle's a bit high, though. I was just saying that. It does sound a little bit high. Look, it's 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 actually like fourteen hundred. That's too high for idle. Yeah, it should be about 800. Eight, 900, yeah. We'll give that a tweet yeah. now. Should pull um, straight in and then we'll um, wind it in. Yes, let's do that. I do believe that this one on the top is the idle adjustment screw. Right, let's have a listen. It's very hot. I'll go and check the dial. That's much better already. That's better already, yeah. Right, I'm watching now, we're still at about 1,200. About 1,200 still. She won't go in anymore. That's 1,100. Is that maxed out? Let me blip the throttle. I can do that here. Oh, Hold no, on, I'll do it. Still quite high, still about 11. I wonder if she's running a bit rich still then. Um, should we have a go with the mix? I mean, it smells a little rich, I'd say, maybe. That's it. That's it. That's it. Bottomed out. Eight mil socket. I don't want to make it too lean. Yeah. So we'd be better off um, spinning it down to Tim's whilst it's proper warm, getting pretty probe at it back again and to adjust it properly. All right, we'll do that then, yeah. yeah. But at least it's knocked down a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's um, yeah. much better. Much better. But everything else is tickety-boo. It feels like a new car. It's Good. amazing. I shut. I heard it shut. <laughs> oh my God, I still can't believe she's on the road. It's scared, isn't it? Oh. Do you know what? It's been so long. This isn't the big reveal either. This oh, is no. no. This is um, this is a moody shadowed shot. A moody shadow shot. Yes, the big reveal is yet to come. We've still got these are the training wheels. We've still got the wheel episode to come. Yeah. And then it's then it's big reveal time. But first, we've got to go to a show. Yeah, we're supporting our friends. We're going to get this in a couple of days. A couple Sunday. We're going to get this to the show. No matter what. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. It's going now. Okay, it's, it's just a matter of a bit of a buff and a little bit of a polish. Few little bits and bobs. Yep. Door handles are a bit sticky to open, aren't they? The door handles are a bit stiff. Um, Maybe a bit of grease would fix that. A bit of grease. Um, we'll just check. The, the alignment's perfect. So it, it's just, I think it's just because we cleaned everything and stripped all the old grease out. We did. We washed everything in thinner to get all yeah. the old grease out. So a bit of grease, a bit of fresh grease in there. Yeah, a yeah, bit of lubrication. I'll sort it out. But, but yes, um, she looks marvellous. I'm looking forward to uh, getting her out and about. Mm -mm -mm. Another bank holiday coming up as well, mister. Ooh. Yeah. wonder if we can go somewhere else. Fingers crossed. There's a Cars and Coffee at Papa Sands mm. after, after this show. Might do that as well. Right then, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll be back with you as Stick soon. with us. We've got more tinkering to do with this. And oh, this will never be finished. finished. This will never be finished. Just when you there'll think it is, be more tinkering. there'll always be something else there'll to always do. Be more tinkering. Um, we've had a we've had a ball trying to get it to the MOT though, haven't we? Oh my god! The steering rack exploded. We, All we the had engine to get mounts a, were knackered. The, the gearbox, gearbox mount, mount was, was wrong. We had to get wrong. a new one and get it delivered like the next day. We'll tell yeah. you all about that when we have a and live. And then it was like the gearbox mount landed, and it was like. Right, Liam, phone up for an MOT whilst I fit this. <laughs> and then it was like, oh my God, we've got an MOT in an hour. <laughs> there are, the gearbox mount. <laughs> why aren't the reverse lights working? <laughs> yeah. And the indicators are flashing too fast. Everything was working oh, before I phoned man. up. Oh. Anyway, we'll have another discussion about that with a cup of tea and a live chat, mister. Yeah. Right. right then. Gotta Thank go. you very much. Baby's Ciao. calling. Bye.